I was uh, in southern Sweden with two other people, and we were walking in the countryside, in the meadows, very much like England, beautiful day like this exactly. And um, we had planned to take a picnic. This was 22, more than 22 years ago. And we sat down, we found a beautiful spot, and we sat down, and we started to talk. We were very young and um, talking about the world and situations of, like Biafra and the hunger and uh, starving children. And we talked about Vietnam and I was very upset because as an American, I was ashamed that my country was causing such devastation. This was about 1969, wasn't 1969 it? 1969 in April, first week of April. I don't know the exact date, I didn't write it down. And we, uh, I started to cry because of the situation and what we had seen on the television the night before. And at that very moment that I started to cry, for some reason, Harry did not have the experience, but Malker and I looked up. Something made us look up. I don't know what. And there was this object very close above us that had three things coming down out of it. It was metallic. Uh, no windows, no bodies, and um, soundless, just there. And it didn't even seem to hover, it seemed to just be completely still. But it was only two seconds. And then these things went back up inside of it, it was oval shaped, and it just shot straight out away from the earth. And I, looking straight up, kept trying to see it and I said to Malker did you see that and he said yes and we were so shocked because we'd never had anything like this before and I'd never had any interest in anything of this nature either and I said that couldn't have been an airplane because an airplane has to go around the earth and this thing went straight away from the earth and then we turned our heads and we looked and noticed that the word sky did not exist there was no color blue anymore. Uh, it was just in infinite space, colorless infinite space. Everything seemed to be enlarged. Everything. Um, the human mind, um, the earth, the space, the consciousness. And then we saw the moon in its natural size, three-dimensional right in front of us in the space and it was um, it's just impossible to describe except that a few months later they landed on the moon and they came with all the photographs of the moon and that was the only way i was able to describe what i saw i never could have done it without. that was in july of that year the moon landing was yes in july, june or july yes yeah. And um, we saw the craters and the depth of the craters and the size. We saw the color of the moon, which I found not to be gray, but to be like um, more like sand, a darker shade of sand. And um, it seemed to be revolving in space. And then I felt this urge to stand up, which I did. And that was the most spectacular feeling, to stand up and walk on the earth and really feel myself walking on the earth. You know, to feel this, uh, I felt that I was upside down. I felt that I was in every direction. And I seemed to experience gravity in a way I can't describe either. But it was just I knew what gravity was, and I felt it holding me that that was the only thing that kept my feet on the earth. And all of these things are obvious to anyone, but people don't normally go around and experience it on such, so, such an enormous way. And I stood up, I started walking, I, I felt like a puppet on strings. And then there was a sound that came that permeated the whole space. And it was very similar to um, if you took a stethoscope and you put it into a recording studio and you magnified it 10,000 times 
it sounded like that, like a heartbeat, you know. It's, um, it had all that echo sound, and it came in vroom, and then there was a silence, a gap, and then it came again. And I said, like I knew exactly what was happening, oh my God, it's the rhythm of the universe pulsating. And then I went back and I sat down and put my arms around my knees like this and was looking out, and then I noticed that the earth seemed to get very large. Uh, so you, the only way I can describe this is to say that it was two different things at the same time, and that's what's so hard to comprehend with this mind now, how one can do that. But I was sitting here talking to my friend the same way I'm talking to you with the same physical attributes. But at the same time, I was literally somehow seeing the earth from a distance with these same eyes. Um, it was like being an ant on a bowling ball, but at the same time being a giant on the top of a pinhead. Okay. Um, what is it that you think happened to you? I, I feel that what happened to me was that it was a, an object that came into my space and brought me into their space.